Hi guys, so this video is going to be on uniform circular motion. So consider this a particle that is moving into a circle. So the RT that you see here, this is the position vector of a particle moving into a circle. So the, its equation is given by R0. So R0 is the radius of the circle. So then R0 cos omega t i hat plus R0 sin omega t g hat. You guys probably have seen this equation in your physics courses and so i'm not gonna go ahead and derive this equation but if you guys want me to derive it let me know in the comments and i will make a video uh, on the derivation of this formula okay so now let's continue so how do we uh, calculate the velocity of this so i'm gonna show you how to we calculate the velocity of it but first let me explain to you what is the velocity in here so this is the particle that is moving into a circle right so its speed is always constant because it's keep going into a circle but however the velocity the direction of the velocity is keep changing right so as the circle is moving along with the along the circle as the particle is moving along the circle so its direction is keep moving and it's always tangential to the circle so just like that so all these are the vector uh, the velocity vectors so it's always perpendicular to the circle and if you if you don't understand why it's it's tangential to the compo uh, to the circle so let me explain you so for example consider this so for example this is you okay and this is your hand um okay so bad at drawing okay uh, just consider this as your finger okay so this is your finger and you have a like a string attached to a key okay you have a key and you are just uh, moving it into a circle okay so you just keep moving it into a circle and so the speed of it it's going to be remain constant as you keep moving it so as you keep moving 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 the speed is constant but what if you let it go so as soon as you will let it go so for example the last position of it was here so like as you were turning it so then here at this point you just let it go so it's gonna f fly off like that right it's just gonna fly off like that so uh, that means that the position the velocity vector it's it's pointing uh, tangential to the circle right so you can understand it using the Newton's first law so like an object will continue moving into a straight line unless uh, an, uh, unless acted upon by an external force right so it, there was no external force applied so it wanted to remain in the position that it was before so uh, the the position that it had the last time when you throw it so if, for example if it was here then it would go in this position like that so it, it just want to remain the in the position that it was uh, the last time uh, that it was so that's why the position it's go the velocity it's going to be tangential to it so I hope you get it if you still don't get it let me know in the comment I will explain you okay so the velocity and tangential so that's you got it okay so how do we find the velocity then uh, the velocity is the going to be the derivative of the position function so right so we're going to derive it so let me just remove this ugly drawing <laughs> okay okay so then how do we derive this equation so this is uh and you ha just need to remember this the r and w the omega right yeah so radius and omega are constant here so that's what you need to remember when you're differentiating it so now r it's since the constants it remains uh, it's just going to stay there and then what's the derivative of cos w t so I'm just gonna write it in here like aside just so you don't forget so the derivative of sine x is cos x and derivative of cos x is negative sine x right okay so now what's the derivative of cos x it's negative sine x okay so i'm gonna have to write a negative here so negative sine mega t and now you see w you have a wt so you're not done you cannot move on to sine wt you 
so this equation it's like it's like this okay so if you have like sine w 3t so how do we differentiate this one so what's the derivative of sine it's cos right so you're gonna write sine cos cos 3t but then there is a, a chain rule you have to multiply it with the inside function which is 3t so what's the derivative of 3t it's 3 right so you're gonna have to write this so to, so then this is going to be uh, 6 cos 3t so this is the differentiation of this so you just have to multiply by the inside function so here so in the back to the example where we were so here we, you have um, sine wt so here what's the derivative of wt so the derivative of wt since w is a constant omega is a constant so you will just write w okay so let's write w here and then plus and yeah i forgot the i hat i hat plus r0 what's the derivative of sine x it's cos wt i keep calling it w omega t and then uh, obviously time multiplying with the derivative of the inside function which is wt the derivative of wt it's just going to be w and then g okay so i'm just gonna write it neatly so then it's going to be negative r0 sine omega t forgot to write it okay omega sine omega t i have plus r0 omega sine of cos mega t and g hat so this is the velocity velocity vector of a particle moving into a circle and what about the acceleration so how do we compute the acceleration so for that you just need first I'm gonna tell you guys what is the acceleration in here so the acceleration is pointing towards the center of the circle in here okay so like the acceleration is pointing towards the center because why is it pointing towards the center um, because uh, due to the centripetal force so you guys know the second law of Newton right F equals M a so F is the net force right so uh, the net force in here is the centripetal force is the centripetal force is the central fetal force that is directed towards the center of the circle okay so it is directed towards the center of the circle which means the net force and the acceleration both are pointing towards the center of the circle okay so that's why the acceleration is pointing towards the center due to the centripetal force and due to this uh, law okay but and also um, you know that the speed of it is constant right so when the speed is constant you know the acceleration is equals to zero because acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is change in speed right so if there is uh, no change in speed so that means the acceleration is zero and the, if you do the dot product of it so uh, it's pointing like tangential to the circle right so uh, you see these are perpendicular lines so uh, the velocity is uh, so velocity dot product with acceleration gives us zero because there is no acceleration so if you do the dot product of them it should gives you zero okay now um, yeah, how do we uh, find the acceleration? So the acceleration is simply the, the derivative of the velocity or the double derivative of the position vector, right? So let's take the derivative of the velocity function. So uh, velocity is here. So now taking the derivative of this, this gives us negative r0 and then we have omega and then we have what's the derivative of sine x x cos x yeah okay so cos omega t and then multiplying it with the omega of course don't forget the the chain rule i hat plus r0 okay i'm gonna write that at the bottom okay then r0 omega derivative of sine what's the derivative of the cos the omega t so it's going to be sine omega t please 
sine omega t oh negative sine omega t okay negative sine omega t and you had oh i forgot the chain rule okay i'm gonna write it neatly here so it's going to be um negative r0 w squared right w squared cos omega t plus negative zero omega squared sine omega t g hat forgot the i hat okay and so you can write it like that but if you want to simplify it you can go ahead and simplify it so if if you factor out the omega squared so you're left with negative r0 oh sorry we're factoring out the negative negative omega okay so if we factor out the negative omega squared so we're left with r0 cos r0 cos of omega t i hat plus uh, r0 sine of omega t g hat and if you are you able to recognize this equation r0 cos wt r0 sine wt okay, if you're not then let me show you here look r0 cos wt r0 sine wt so this is the position vector equation right so we can replace it with rt so then negative r squared rt at so if you want to find the acceleration vector what do you do you simply multiply uh, with the negative omega squared the the position particle equation position of the vector equation so this equation so you just multiply it with that and that will give you the acceleration okay and if you want to find the magnitude of the acceleration so how do you do that so you will take the magnitude of this and the magnitude of the, that which will end up being this will will be just omega squared since it's a constant uh, so and if you're taking the magnitude of a constant you just gives you a constant and the negative cancels out so and then you will just have so you will uh, to find the magnitude of the acceleration vector what do you do you simply take the magnitude of the vector function um and then multiply it with the omega squared so okay so that was it for today's video i hope you guys find it helpful and let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions and don't forget to like subscribe and comment thanks for watching bye